Hi everyone, my name is Ray Jia Wang, and I'm glad to present our recent work, graph structure estimation neural networks. So let's start with the introduction. Recently, there has been a surge of interest in graph neural networks, representing models such as GCN, SGC, and PPMP. They have achieved sort of performance in many tasks, but they rely on one fundamental exception that the topology is grounded information and consists with the properties of genes. In fact, as graphs are usually extracted from complex interaction system, such exception could always be validated. One reason is that this interaction system usually contains uncertainty or error. The another reason is that the issue of missing data is inevitable. And it has been revealed that unreliable error-prone graphs could significantly limit the performance of genes. For example, the performance can greatly degrade on distorted graphs. Therefore, it is imperative to explore a better graph for genes. We have two insights on this problem. Especially, the graph generation mechanism should be taken into consideration. It is well established in network science literature that the graph generation is potentially governed by some underlying principles. Considering these principles fundamentally drives the learned graph to maintain a regular global structure and be more robust to noise in real observation. The second insight is that multifaceted information should be injected to reduce bias. It makes sense that the confidence of an age would be greater if this age exists under multiple measurements. Therefore, we propose graph structure estimation neural networks, GEN, to achieve aforementioned insights. GEN is mainly composed of two key modules, structure model and observation model. Considering the local smoothing nature of GCN, we attach a structure model to the graph generation hypothesizing that the estimation graph is drawn from SBN. So this graph has a strong community structure, just like the graph on the right. Furthermore, we present an observation model to jointly treat the observed graph, node feature similarity, and multi-order neighborhood similarity as observation of the optimal graph. Next. I'll introduce the details of the proposed model. We firstly utilize available information to construct an observation set O for the optimal graph, then propose graph estimator to estimate the graphs based on these observations and the labels. Finally, the entire framework is implemented iterative optimization between GCN parameters and graph estimation. The better estimated graph would then force GCN to produce more accurate observations, and the process is repeat. During such iteration, the learning of GCN and the inference of graph structure enhance each other. The first step observation construction. After k iterations of the aggregation, node embedding hk captures the structure information within its k order graph neighborhood, and they provide local to global information. On the other hand, nodes with similar neighborhood are possibly far away in the graph but tapped to the same communities. Therefore, we attempt to connect these distant but similar nodes in our estimated graph to enhance the classification performance. Specifically, we take out node embeddings H to construct KN graphs as observations of the optimal graph, where O is the adjacency matrix. This observation reflect the optimal graph structures from varied views and can be assembled to infer a more reliable graph structure. Until now, the question we want to answer is 
given this available observation, what is the best estimated graph of GCN? These observations review the optimal graph structure from different perspectives, but they may be unreliable or incomplete, and we do not have a priori that how accurate any of the information is. So, it is not straightforward to answer this question directly, but it's relative easy to answer the reverse question. Imagine that a graph with community structure has been generated. We could calculate the probability of matching this graph to this observation. If we can do this, Bayesian inference allows us to invert the calculation and compute the posterior distribution of graph structure. Hence, our goal is achieved. The procedure is formalized as follow, and generating graphs corresponds to the structure model. Calculating the probability of observation is observation. Let's look at their specific forms. Considering the local smoothing nature of GCN, a good choice for structure model is SBM. SBM assumes that the probability of an edge between nodes depends only on their communities. Here, omega represents the parameters of SBM and indicates the probability of within and between community connections. Ci denotes the label of node vi. This equation means that generating an edge between node vi and vj in optimal graph G depends only on the probability omega ci cj. Please note that the structure model represents our prior knowledge or constraint about the underlying structure before observing any data. In fact, in what form the optimal graph exists is a mystery, and the things that can be done are to combine its observation to invert. Therefore, we introduce an observation model. To describe how the optimal graph G maps onto observations, and we assumed that the observation of each uh, Bernoulli random variables conditioned on the present or absent of an age in the optimal graph. This assumption is well accepted in community detection and graph generation. Specifically, we parameterize the possible observation by two probability. The true positive rate, alpha, is the probability of observing an age where one truly exists in the optimal graph G, and false positive rate, beta, is the probability of observing an edge where none exists in the optimal graph G. Let's suppose that out of M observations, we observe an edge on Eij of them, and no edge on the remaining M minus Eij. So we get the probability of this observation. For iterative optimization, we evaluate the cross entropy error over all labeled examples to update GN parameters. Then we apply Bayes' rule, substitute the above probabilities in the graph estimator, and maximize the posterior distribution with the EM. Finally, we get the expectation Q of the optimal graph. Then let me show experimental results. We validated the proposed GEN on six open graph datasets, and we compare GEN with three categories of GENs, including three spectral-based methods, three spatial-based methods, and three graph structure learning-based methods. For node classification, in addition to the 20 labels per class, we also evaluate performance when 10 or 5 per class are available. In this table, we report the mean and standard deviation results. And we can see GN consistently outperform other baselines on six datasets, especially under reduced label and disassociative settings. Then, we aim at understanding the mechanism of GN and the properties of estimated graph. We perform studies on a synthetic graph using an attributed SBM. There are five communities and each with 20 nodes. We visualize the original and the estimated graph, and we select 
one specific node to highlight the changes of its neighborhood, as shown in figures. The original graph is a bit chaotic, and there exist lots of between community connections. After applying RGN, the community structure of estimated graph is crisp, and we calculate the probability matrix between communities and draw them as heat maps. We observe that GN widens the gaps between the diagonal and off-diagonal elements. Then recall that the estimated adjacency matrix Q represent our confidence in the existence of that edge, and we present the relationship between edge confidence and the number of observations. We find that most node pairs are in the zero observation bar. Since the graph is bus and a large majority of node pairs never meet, and from the relationship between the number of observation and average age confidence, it can be found that an age observed only zero or one time implies a low confidence, but there is a relative sharp transition between one and two. To show the distribution of age confidence, we divide the ages in two groups, ages between nodes of the same communities and different communities. We observe that the confidence of ages between same communities is concentrated on the last bin. Finally, we draw our conclusions. Our contributions are threefold. We provide new insights for graph structure learning and propose a novel framework. Extensive experiments verify the effectiveness of our proposed model. Thanks a lot for your attention. Invite you to check our paper and see more.